Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you today this new preamp board I've designed for the D104 microphone and talk about some of its features. So as you can see it shares a similar footprint to the original factory preamp board and that makes for easy mounting inside the base of the microphone. It'll work with both versions that did and did not come without a preamp from the factory. Alright so let's talk about its features. So we have the uh, bass and treble tone adjustment on here as well as a compressor noise gate section. Uh, over here is the adjustment for the noise gate and then we have an input drive level adjustment and an output gain level adjustment. Uh, that way you can control the output gain and, and uh, configure it so it matches the radio that you're using it with. Over on the right hand side here we have some settings for the compressor. Uh, there are three presets that you uh, basically just solder a little, little piece of solder across here to select one of them. You can either have a one-to-one -one, which effectively bypasses the compressor or you can have a two-to-one compression ratio or a three-to-one uh, which I find yeah, you know, either of these seem to work real good for communication purposes. I prefer the sound of the two-to-one. Uh, three-to-one will add even just a little bit more punch yet. And if you really want to do some experimenting you can leave these unconnected and instead use these two connection points here and connect either a preset resistor or a potentiometer in there and you can set the compression as high as a 10 to 1 or as we've done with this one here you can connect a uh, toggle switch to it and that way you can uh, you can have an adjustable on off so if you uh, were to solder one of these or have a, a preset resistor across here to set the compression you could do that and then you could also have a switch on there and when you turn the switch on it would essentially be putting it in the one-to-one -one mode and uh, that would be nice in case you wanted to be able to turn it off for say rag chewing or talking to someone real close to you and then turn it on when you're talking to someone far away uh, then you would have that option. Okay as far as connections to the microphone we have an input over here and uh, if you're using the factory uh, uh, crystal element uh, high impedance element that comes with the D104 you connect the two microphone signal wires to these pins and then over here is the output so the pin labeled out is going to go to the audio input of your radio and then we have our shield and ground connection uh, the grounds are DC grounds and then we have our positive input connection for power uh, this board will run with anywhere from 5 volts upwards of 20 volts if you for some reason wanted to put that high of a voltage into it uh, but uh, you, I would think most use cases is going to be in the 5 to 12 volt range uh, and that means you you can use it with a 9 volt battery if you have a, a microphone with a 9 volt battery clip in it and maybe your radio doesn't supply power you can do that or if you have uh, yeah, one of the newer radios or, or amateur radios that supplies voltage on a microphone pin you can just connect it to here as well and uh, it's very low current draw so it uh, should not exceed the current rating of most radios I think so far the lowest one I've seen is 10 milliamps uh, being the limit for some of the ICOM radios I've looked at and uh, this is well below that so no concerns. Uh, over here is also a shutdown pin so this this uh, connection here can be tied to the PTT switch and uh, uh, more so if you're using it with a battery if you're using it with power from the radio uh, I wouldn't even really worry about connecting this uh, but if you're using it with a battery what this allows you to do is when uh, you're not transmitting uh, this would this would get grounded it would basically connect to the side of the switch that uh, goes to ground when you are receiving and it puts the board into a sleep mode and drops the uh, current down even lower to extend your battery life uh, one of the nice features this board also offers is you can use it with electric style uh, elements uh, that was one request I got a lot of times with uh, the previous preamp board that I did is a lot of people want to know if they could use it with the electret replacement elements that are commonly available on eBay and uh, that particular board was not really designed for that purpose but we did take it into consideration with this one so as I said before it can work with both the uh, factory element or it can work with the electric replacement elements if you were going to use it with an electric style element it's very easy. All you need to do is connect the positive wire. It would go to the square pad here of J1. Your negative wire would connect to one of the unused ground terminals. You would, you know, one would be the, the DC ground for your power, and then the other one could be uh, the negative for the microphone here. And it doesn't matter which one you use. 
And then the only other thing that is required is that you solder bridge this connection over here, this JP1. You simply put a little bridge of solder across here. Just like that. And what that will do is provide the DC power to the microphone, to the electric element. Uh, so that way you don't have to worry about any adding any extra external resistor or capacitor in line because this does already have the isolation capacitor on it. So that's all you need to do is you just connect the positive to there, uh, the negative to one of the ground terminals, and then bridge this connection and you're all set to go using an electret element. Uh, the, this board also does feature potentiometers that are adjustable from either side. Uh, I don't think you typically would be adjusting them from the top side because then you'd have this thing just kind of dangling there and could risk shorting it out. So uh, it's designed to be adjusted from the back. As you can see, you'd insert your screwdriver here and you can then uh, adjust the potentiometers with it in place in the microphone. All right, so let's uh, pop over to the bench. I'm going to get this thing hooked up to a radio and we'll do some tests and see how it sounds. Okay, so we're set up to do the test uh, on the, uh, with the radio now. I got the D104 here hooked up to the ICOM 7100. Um, before we get started, I just want to show that the radio's equalizer is set uh, set to flat on transmit there. So we got bass and treble both set to zero, and uh, we have the transmit bandwidth set to wide. So what I'm going to do is just uh, we'll show a test with the compressor off. And then we'll turn on the compressor and the radio and show what that sounds like. Then turn that back off and then turn on just the one in the microphone so you can kind of see the comparison there. And um, we'll do that. We'll do the comparison on sideband and then we'll go to AM and show what that uh, sounds like. Uh, that's one other benefit of having the compressor in the microphone is that you can actually use it on AM. Most uh, amateur radios don't let you turn the compressor on on AM, at least not any that I've seen. Um, so if you wanted to use it on there, now you have the option to uh, with it in the microphone. Uh, then after that test, we'll do a quick comparison, comparing these two here. Um, they both have the same preamp board in them. Both are set to 2 to 1 compression. The only difference is this microphone has the factory microphone element in it, the high impedance element, and this has one of the replacement electret elements in it. So that way it give you just a little bit of an idea of the, the sound difference between the two. Um, I have the bass and treble already kind of preset where I prefer to have them for each of the microphones. Uh, if your preference may be different, just uh, to keep that in mind, but it should give you a pretty good idea anyways, the, the sound difference uh, between the two elements. And, and actually it isn't, it isn't that, uh, that huge. They're a little bit more high end out of the D104, as would be expected. Uh, but still really great sound out of the electret element too. So, okay, we'll get started here. Uh, just for reference, this is the the bypass switch for the compressor and the microphone. Uh, with it in this position, it's bypassed, and then when I flip it, that will turn the compressor on. Okay, so let's start the recording here. Okay, this is AB9 TE testing, and this is the D104 all by itself uh, with the compression bypass, and the compression on the radio is turned off. One, two, three, four, five, and I'll turn the compressor on the radio on. Okay, this is with the compressor on the radio turned on. One, two, three, four, five, and we'll turn that back on. And now we're going to turn the compressor for the microphone on. And that is with the microphone compressor turned on. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and that's back off. And now we'll switch over to AM mode. Okay, and uh, here we are on AM now. Uh, this with the compressor turned off on the microphone, just so you can get a, a starting point of where we're at with it off. And I'll turn it on. Okay, and here's with the compressor turned on on AM, so you can get a little idea of what that sounds like. And now we'll switch, uh, we'll go back to sideband, and uh, I'll show you the difference between this microphone and the other one. 
Okay, so this is the factory D104 element in this one. We have the compressor turned on, and I'll give a five count here. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to switch to the microphone with the electrode element in it. Okay, now we're on the microphone with the electrode element in it. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, this, this uh, preamp board in here is also configured for two-to-one compression. All right, so there you have it. Uh, I'll have another video coming up here that will show what the microphone sounds like on some 10 and 11 meter radios. Uh, just to give the people an idea uh, that might have that type of radio they'd be using it with. And if you're interested in picking one of these up, just look in the description of the video and I'll have the link in there where you can find them at. Alright, thanks.